my fellow comic book collectors, today is Friday, and on Fridays I do my cover challenge. Each week I try to come up with a different theme, kind of something interesting that will kind of make you kind of look through your long boxes and try to find something cool. <laughs> and last week's theme, I believe, was uh, sexy girl covers. It was for my birthday, you know, I like sexy girls, so I kind of wanted you guys to show me some sexy girls on the covers. So I showed a bunch, you can check out my video from last week. If you, if you ever want to see everybody's videos, all you have to do is search, um, use the hashtag Friday Comic Challenge, <laughs> and then you'll see all the different uh, people's videos. And people have put out some pretty great videos. So I definitely re recommend that you do that because you can see some other great channel, uh, ch channels and challenges that have been done by other people. And you know, it's kind of fun. So um, this week, is going to be a very different theme. Uh, I was actually, this theme was kind of a little bit spontaneous. I'm in the process, if you see over there, <laughs> on the side of my camera, um, my room is a mess. And the reason it's a mess is I was sorting through all my comics and I was kind of going through all my Golden Age. I, 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 I was surprised by how much Golden Age books I have. I, I found over a thousand. <laughs> A thousand books from the golden age in my collection and I was just sort of sorting them out trying to get them into the right titles and the right themes and all that kind of stuff so and in doing that I was like hey I have a lot of jungle comics so this is kind of related to that <laughs> so um so it might be more of a challenge for some people that don't have as much jungle stuff but this I'm going to start out with a non-golden age book and a great one that is uh, jungle related. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, so this is A Life uh, with Archie, number 41. It's kind of a cool book. Um, this is actually, as an aside, <laughs> this is actually the first appearance of Godzilla in comics. So kind of a cool book for that reason. But it is also a jungle cover. So look, uh, it's six adventures. We got uh, the South Seas, the deepest Africa. So it's kind of like jungle theme. Got the rhinoceros and everything there. Then we got in the Amazon Amazon River, and that's Amazon jungle. So you got snakes coming down, and yeah, you know, a whole bunch of jungly stuff. Now the other adventures maybe not so jungly. So that's why it's tenth on my list. But it is a jungle cover. So this is what I'm going for. That jungle flavor comic. Speaking of which, one of the, uh, within Marvel, one of the most famous jungles is the Savage Lands. So this is the first appearance of the Savage Lands. This is X-Men number 10, and it's, you know, first Silver Age appearance of Kazar as well. And first appearance of Zabu. <laughs> and so, yeah, so um, just kind of cool, uh, jungly, a little bit jungly. It's not as jungly as I would like. That's why it's lower on the list, but it at least has the saber tooth lion because all all jungles have saber tooth uh, lions. So, or is he a saber tooth lion? Saber tooth tiger, actually, <laughs> a saber tooth lion. <laughs> That's even more interesting. Uh, saber tooth tiger. Yes. Uh, so just kind of a fun book. Um, yeah, savage lions. Okay, so then we get. One of the characters that I always associate with uh, the jungle is Sheena. And this is just a really great Maurice Whitman cover. Got a really great uh, Sheena going on there. <laughs> I like my good girls. Uh, as I said, last week was sexy covers. So <laughs> do you expect anything different from me? Um, so yeah, so you got the sexy girl, but you also got the jungle flavor. You got the, the gorillas and you got her in the tree and kind of like, you know, wearing the jungle outfit. I don't know. I like this one. It's kind of a great Maurice Whitman cover. Okay, so that's number eight on the list. Number seven on the list is Jumbo Comics. And I thought this was really, you know, that kind of jungle action thing. Uh, one of the things that I remember as a kid was uh, going to Disney World. And uh, you would do the jungle cruise <laughs> and on the jungle cruise they would always have these hippos and they would always have their mouths open up and uh, it, for some reason this cover reminds me of 
the Jungle Cruise uh, from Disney World. So uh, yeah, just I think it's really got all the action things going on. She's about to like you know throw her spear into this leopard. They've got the hippo going crazy. This guy's like falling. You know, like a whole bunch of stuff going on. Just a lot of fun action going on in this cover. So this is Jumbo Comics number ninety two. So that's kind of cool. And you know, this is quintessential jungle because it's jungle tales. <laughs> so it's even got kind of these log like uh, you know like header kind of thing going on. Um, so yeah, so you got all the different kind of jungly elements going on. I'm not a big fan of this kind of four panel thing. The Archie one, I had the same issue where it's the panel thing. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that, but this one does capture a lot of jungle things. You got the gorillas, you got the, you got the tribal people, you got the rhinoceros, you got the crocodiles, I believe that's a crocodile. So yeah, just lots of kind, kind of fun stuff going on. So this is Jungle Tales number seven. And if you have Jungle Tales, you have to have Jungle Action. These are both from Marvel, Marvel Atlas. These are Golden Age books. Um, but this one's kind of fun. You get the, again, it's the, the multi-panel one, but you get the little apes at the back, the gorillas, I guess. Uh, you got Jaguar Girl, <laughs> which is, or Leopard Girl, sorry, Leopard Girl, and Jungle Boy. Yeah. That's another thing. Whenever I think of jungles, I always think of people swinging on vines. So he's swinging on the vine. I think that's really great. Also, I think about the tribal people. <laughs> you know, they gotta have these either voodoo or something kind of silly kind of going on. So I just think, you know, this kind of makes me think of all those jungle elements. Um, similar to the other one that I showed, um, this is Fight Comics. Again, you got, this is Tiger Girl now. Uh, and she's, you know, she's actually got a pet tiger. That's her friend. Um, and, you know, this is kind of that typical scene where you got uh, the, you know, people like they're like, you know, maybe poaching tigers and she's defending the tigers from these evil poachers. So kind of cool. Um, so this is Fight Comics. Another great jungle cover. And I do like rhinoceroses. I do uh, like that whole certain animals, like especially African animals and that kind of a the stampede. Well, this has got that flavor. This is uh, uh, Kanga, uh, King Jungle King. And again, I, I, I like that whole idea of the, the kind of canopy to the jungle where it's like just so thick at the top that you can literally kind of hang from it. And you know, rescue the woman from this rhinoceros stampede. So kind of cool. I just think another Maurice Whitman cover. I like Maurice Whitman. <laughs> so uh, just another great Maurice Whitman cover. So uh, this is Kanga Jungle King. Uh, I forget what an issue number it is. Issue number ten. Um, so as I said, I like that stampede, that kind of like action of like the animals charging through the forest or whatever. This one's kind of got that too. This is Moon Girl, number two, and it's just a really great cover, like where they're all like, all the animals are charging through. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just a, you know, you got the elephant. I always like elephants as well. Um, the boy is riding the, uh, the, the leopard. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like kind of cool. Get the tribal guys, you know, a whole bunch of fun things going on. Uh, this is from EC Comics too, which is kind of cool. So Moon Girl, another character that I like from the Golden Age. And next, and not least, this is my favorite comic from the the jungly kind of, you know, uh, uh, like related comics. And this is JoJo. Congo King. And I like this one because whenever I think of jungles, I always think of snakes. <laughs> I always think, you know, like there's going to be a million snakes in the jungle. And uh, there's always that situation where the jungle, the snake is like going to bite you. I don't like it sort of sits up and then it's going to strike. And I just like this, that, you know, you get the damsel in distress, but the guy's in the background. He's like dealing with even bigger <laughs> issues. He's dealing with the panther. And it's just really great cover. I just, I kind of like this one. I, um, that's Lula in the front. Uh, and that's uh, Jojo in the back. 
and they're just dealing with a lot of animals and uh, dealing with the life in the jungle. So uh, just fun stuff. I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, so that was my 10 jungle covers, my, my, some of my favorites. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you want to participate and, you know, do the challenge, all you have to do is find 10 jungle related covers and use the hashtag when you create your video of, uh, jungle covers, <laughs> hashtag jungle covers and hashtag Friday comic challenge. So um, if you use those two hashtags, people can find your video and, you know, we can all take a look. So again, thanks everyone for watching. Bye for now.